Oh my gosh, hello guys, welcome back to my channel, my name is Dylan, and today I'm going to be doing a random video because I'm out of video ideas. <laughs> But I thought it would be fun to open up my BL totes and just kind of pick and choose some manga and objectively judge them based on the covers and the titles. <laughs> of course, there's a lot of, like, regular books in here, too, so I have to get these out of the way. And also, what is this? <laughs> the Starving Student Cookbook? Why do I have this? <laughs> I'm not a student anymore, but I am starving. Hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm glad this is in here, though. I'm gonna look at that later. <laughs> so I'm gonna move all the real books, because we're not gonna talk about real books today, even though I have a ton of them. Oh my gosh, these are like all... Oh no! No, don't fall! These are like all real books. <laughs> Novels that I have purchased and need to freaking read. Oh man. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be kinda hard to objectively judge these, because I have read some of these and love them, and so I'm gonna try my best to just not think about the stories and just but, but judge it based on the cover. So we're gonna start with something I haven't read. This is Depression of the Anti-Romanticist, which is basically my life. Um, <laughs> and uh, this is a cute cover, I like it. Um, yes, yes please, you can spread your pa flower petals all over me, baby. Um, this is a manga that my friend recommended to me, and I think it's gonna be super messy, so I'm- I'm ready for it. Um, I think it's not gonna be my favorite, but I'm gonna- I'm gonna keep that to the side, because I'm gonna read that soon. Because I have another video that I want to film about yes- messy BL manga, and we're gonna do that eventually. Okay, so this one is Same Cell Organism. Um, very boring. Very boring cover. I don't really like this cover. It, it does not look good. I don't know. And I also, I did not think that said organism when I first read it. That's all I'm going to say. However, I love this cover. This is by the same creator. Um, the Day I Become a Butterfly by Sumomo Yumika. Oh my gosh, this cover is gorgeous though. That is like a painting and I love it. I just, I felt like the other one was boring and this one's way more in depth and beautiful. Oh, there's a, there's a mailer in here. Oh my goodness. Wait, this is actually from the manga. This is a little like postcard to Digital Manga Incorporated. Wow. It says to sign up for the Ak Akadot reading catalog. <laughs> that is not around anymore. <laughs> it's hard to objectively judge this because I love that series, okay? Ooh, okay, this one is Classmates, and this one is written by Asumiko Nakamura, and um, it's a very pretty cover. It's pretty. Definitely looks like a very cute read. I like it. I love the painting. I love the style. I'm here for it. I have still not finished reading it, though, so... Shows how much I liked that one. Okay, now this cover is Busy Girl. This is a busy cover, and I'm not sure if I like it. This is Castle Mongo number two. Um, as you can see, it is extremely busy. I don't know if I like this. It's cute art, but I just, mm, I don't know. I don't know, girl. I'll have to hold my judgment when I actually read it. Oh, I found a cover that I like. <laughs> yes, get it, Domeki. Oh, I'm supposed to be objective, right? Get it, random hot guy, yes. I love how his legs up and oh my God, he's barefoot. That's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> oh, okay. So, <laughs> there are some really good covers. Okay, guys, Bonds is another amazing cover. Um, I'm not into smoking. That's the only thing. The only thing about this cover I don't like is the smoking aspect, but um, I, I want, this is like a Spider-Man moment. Like, yes, please, please put your face above my eyes, thank you. Okay, so I'm a little biased with this one too because this is a green cover and I like the color green. This is Color by Eki Eki and Taishi Zhao um, and it is very, very cute. 
I do like this cover. A little boring, if I'm being honest, a little boring. But these boys are cute, and I, I, I don't know. I'm looking forward to reading that one. Mm. I need to be objective. I need to be objective. But this is Jackass. This is by Scarlet Barrico. I really like this cover. I like where his head is. <laughs> Honestly, can we get a zoom in? Mm. Could you, could you move, honey? Could you just move uh, just an inch? That would be, that would be lovely. Thank you. Thank you for that. Yes, queen. Mm-hmm. Are they in high school? <laughs> okay, maybe he shouldn't move. <laughs> Listen, I can be thirsty if I want. It doesn't matter. I mean, it does matter. They're not real, though. Like, they're not real. So, but I do like this story. This is a good one, and, um... Objectively speaking, this is a really nice cover. I do want to, like, know who those people are in the background, though. Like, who are they, girl? Hello. Hello, can I see you? Oh, I guess maybe. Are they on the back? Maybe that's them. Okay. Okay. That's a good design. Okay. That's fine. I guess we can do this as a set. I don't know where my volume four is. I honestly don't, and I wish I did, because I really want to read this series. Um, <laughs> again... T for Two by Yaya Sakuragi. Um, let me just say, this is extremely, extremely boring. Very boring covers. I mean, this one's a little bit better because he has a beautiful tattoo. Oh my god, girl. But like, whoop, there's a bookmark. Um, yeah, this just, it's just boring. They're very, very boring covers and I don't, I don't know, I'm, it's, it's fine. Not my favorite, though. Oh my gosh, we got another Spider-Man moment! Yes! Get that camera out of his face, though. You know what he wants in his face. Mm-hmm, honey. This is also very, very cute. It is... A lot of these are really similar covers, I'm realizing. Like, it's either super busy or, like, no background at all, and it's super boring. So, but I don't know. I, I like... I also like the expression on his face, like... Um, yeah. I, I like that for reasons. I'm gonna try not to be biased about this one. You are not ready for your eyes. Your eyes are going to melt out of your head, girl. You are not gonna be ready for the next covers because Queen is here. It is Queen Ayano Yamane. And oh my god. You're not ready. You are not ready because look. Oh. Oh. I'm a little biased. <laughs> They're just, they're just stunning. They are honestly stunning, and it's not too busy. It has a nice background, you know, and then, and then a nice, uh, foreground. <laughs> girl, they be climbing, and I be reading, girl. And then this one. This one, though, is gorgeous. One of my absolute favorites. We love a demon. <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. I can breathe now. I can breathe now, honey, because I went through th th that. <laughs> but we have some more boring covers. <laughs> uh, yeah, again, very, very simple. Two characters on the cover with a boring background. <sighs> that's, just a, that's just a common theme. Like, you know, honestly... Let's talk for a minute. Hi. BL, okay. A lot of the times BL is just sold as a sexual sell. And don't get me wrong, it works because you heard what I said about um, the last covers, right? But a lot of the times it sells because of the main couple, and that's basically what they're advertising on the cover for this. I get it. I get it. I totally get it. It's just boring <laughs> and simple. And maybe that's fine. It's totally fine, but I'm just, I'm just being honest. Just being honest, okay? Like, that's usually what the sell is for most BL. And it's kind of unfortunate because there are some really, really good BL out there that have really, really thoughtful, thought-provoking stories, and then you can read certain stories that are just... They're just the smut. <laughs> and that's just all it is. You're reading it for the scenes, which is not, again, not a bad thing. Not a bad thing, girl. I love the smut. I love to see it. 
but I also really like a cute nice story. But I love to see it though. So I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm, I am a hypocrite. <laughs> we got a ton of BL to go through, honey, though. Let me, I'm going to try to go through this fast. I'm not going to go through every volume. I'll just pick like one of the covers at random. So let's pick up this one. <sighs> okay. Okay, he's, okay, okay, he's a little young, a little young, not for me, although, although, um, his, the person he is on top of is for me, the girl. Okay, okay. Um, this is a very taboo manga, I know, and we're speaking totally objectively, I would not buy this. This is a good series. There, I'm not being objective with that one because it's a good series. Um, but normally, no. <laughs> okay, I don't know which cover I'm gonna pick for this series, so we're just gonna do random. One, two, three, four, I declare a thumb lore. One, two, three, four, putting you on the floor. Let's talk about his favorite. Oh no, this is another. <laughs> BL has a lot of teenagers. Okay, okay. Um, yes. And this one is a cute one. I like, I actually really like this cover. It is a little, I don't know if I'd say boring, a little bit, but they have the candy around the boys, and I love his expression. Oh my god, so expressionist. Oh my gosh. That is me trying to meet a guy and closing the app because I decided not to actually go through with it because I am, I have problems. <laughs> problems, girl, and self-confidence issues, and they are not okay. <laughs> but this is about the cover. This is not about uh, me. This is not a therapy session, girl. This is about the cover, and it looks cute. I, I can't help it. I think he's a cute, adorable little baby, and I, I like Sato, too. Objective! Need to be objective. Okay, another series. Which one are we gonna go with? Which one? Which one? Let's go with this one. Oh, great. <laughs> another boring cover. <laughs> this is Love Stage, Volume 2. Um, again, very simple, much like the world's greatest first love. It's about the guys. It's about the boys. All about the boys. And you know, that's what a lot of BL is like, and I've already said that. But, come on, be a little bit more... Be a little bit more flashy, you know? Let's see what the next one's gonna be. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Ooh, okay, okay, we picked a winner. This one, okay. While, yes, it is very similar because there is a style, I, it's a little busy, but I love this. This is Awkward Silence Volume 4 by Hinako Takanaga, and look how crazy this cover is. Oh my gosh, there are chibis, there is candy, stars, and boys, what more could you want in life, girl? What more could you freaking want? Yes. All right, let's move on. I have a couple more series to talk about, but I'm almost done with the tote girl. So we've already talked about this series, but I'm just gonna do it again. I mean, this one's a little bit better. This is another World's Greatest First Love cover. And this one is better because it has a bunny on it. Look at the bunny. I don't even care about the boys. Just look at the bunny. Yas. Um, again, another just simple, simple cover. The background's a little bit better, though, in that one. Okay, so next we have another... I need to be objective, but this one... This one's a good one, okay? <sighs> I need to be objective. Oh, <laughs> yes. These men can get it. <laughs> uh, this is Hide and Seek by Hinako. No, sorry. Yaya Sakuragi. Yaya, yaya, yas queen. I, I love this story. I can't even be objective about it. <sighs> I need to fan myself. I need to fan myself and calm down. <laughs> Let's just um, open up a couple pages. Mm. Oh my god, I miss. Yes. Yes. Oh, there's a beach scene in this volume. Mm. <laughs> oh, is that cross-dressing? Probably not. I think that's his 
girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. Mm. <laughs> oh, I miss. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I need to stop. I need to stop. This is not a Thirsty Thursday, girl. I do not even have wine. I don't even have wine, girl. I just have water. Mm. We're almost done, actually. I think this is the last BL in the tote. Um, I'm gonna pick volume two. Okay, let's look at volume one. <laughs> oh, man, okay. Mm. All right, I'm just gonna show you both of them because this is the last BL that's in the tote. Um, this is Sunflower, and this is written by Hyota Fujiyama, and I, I think this is a cute cover. Oh. See, I like that they put the sunflowers on the book because obviously it goes with the theme. Um, and this is really cute too. It's, it's again, you know, a lot of these are so similar. I've noticed because it's all about the boys and like, I'm not even complaining. I mean, I am complaining, but I'm, I'm complaining because it's simple. But sometimes simple works. <laughs> Um, because I, I still purchased all of these. Like, you, you know, girl, I, I am, I have no, no way to hold back when I see boys on a cover. And that's how we're going to end the video. Yes. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, this was fun. I don't know what the hell this was. It was, it was a trip. <laughs> we went on a trip down BL. Bay, Bay? No, that doesn't work. BL Block. <gasps> yes, BL Block, let's get it. Let's have a block party, yes. I might have had a little too much sugar before making this video. That's it, there's, I did not drink, okay? <laughs> so let me know what you think of all these covers and let me know what your favorite BL covers are in the comments below. Obviously, I would love to see them. Send me the DMs. Send me them now, girl. <laughs> I'm kidding, y'all, I'm kidding. Go, don't do that at all. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> so thank you for watching. I hope you have a fabulous night. And as always, guys, please, for the love of all that is gay. <laughs> Stay sexy! Oh, it's another cover again. Oh well. I'll still, I'll still have fun with it. It's fine, it's fine, it's totally fine. Bye! Oh, you sliding, girl. Mmm! <laughs>